You tell me one athlete right now that's been dominating the game for 16 years straight without a loss. Tell me one. <laughs> uh, Peter, uh, Peter, how you doing? I'm doing good, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, looking back at the performance, uh, Tyson Fury, Derek Chisora, do you think that he's still not getting the uh, like plaudits that he should get for that kind of performance? Beating a well-ranked, easily top 15 in like that? Well, um, I suppose to non-boxing purists, you know, it, uh, it looked on the outside as being one-dimensional, yeah. slow-paced, you know, whatever it is. Mm. But what they don't realise is, uh, you know, Derek's the one that he's facing Tyson, yeah. and he knows how far he can push. You know, you've seen he, he couldn't do anything against Tyson yeah. because there's gulfs and levels. Yeah. You know, and like I always said, you know, Derek's a good fighter, but he's only got certain attributes and can only fight one way. Yeah. You know, and uh, when you see, you know, when you're looking on a world level, and you've got somebody like Tyson uses his skill to match his height, his speed, and everything else. This is the result you get. So. The bottom line is uh, Tyson was told not to advance. He was winning outright, so why uh, why try and change something that's working so well? Yeah. So just said, stick to it, get the rounds in, and let's just stick to the game plan. Don't move off it, yeah. and you know uh, that's what happened. So Tyson never really got to move out of second gear. Yeah. So uh, we did, we've not even seen what Tyson's capable of doing because he didn't need to in that fight. Was you yourself surprised um, of how easy you dominated Derek Chisora? I mean, before the fight, you guys did say it was going to be an easy fight. Um, Tyson said it was going to be an easy fight. We kind of got sold into that as well. But was you surprised? It seemed to go from like round one and round two that the fight could have been could have been done from that early. Really, was you surprised how easy it was to beat Derek? Well, not really, because um, you know we've uh, we practiced. Uh, when you look at that fight again, you notice as Tyson stepping back, he's on balance. Yeah. So as he steps back on the back foot and drops the back foot down and, and lands the jab, that jab may look light, it's not. You know, he's punching with the knuckles down, you know, he's, 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 got a, he's, he's a big, big mannequin hit. Yeah. So, you know, when he's catching Derek like that, you know, Derek's thinking, you know, and, and the hooks to the side as well coming in. You know, it was just, it was just too much for Derek to deal with. Yeah. You know, the power was the difference. Yeah. And uh, I said to Tyson, once he starts feeling the power, you're a different fighter from when you was a kid. Yeah. You know, the power is like, you know, 60, 70% more. I said, you know, walking in as well. You know, he's not, he, he's not some, uh, he's human at the end of the day. And Derek's easily hit. Yeah. So, um, you know, we did pre predict the fight to go as much as planned. That didn't say we didn't go into that fight thinking it was going to be an easy fight. Mm. We look at every fight like it's going to be a very hard fight. We always work for the unexpected of course but we uh we we knew if everything went to plan it would be the outcome yeah like it was um Derek, sorry tyson's been training with you now for is it two years now under your tutelage uh three years uh, the first time you trained with me i think was january 012 yeah yeah so we are starting to see a more mature tyson obviously age as well as bring maturity yeah. that performance was about that wasn't it it was just a mature performance that one wasn't it well, it was about taking his time and you know boxing with his attributes yeah you know, just uh, relaxing and you know doing what he can do you know why why make things hard when you can make them easy and it's just getting that transition in his mind yeah. you know training is not just about training fighters it's about unlocking certain things in their mentality yeah. and getting through where they understand yeah. and the best way to do that is have that close connection to the fighter where you're in a room by yourself in the ring maybe after training and you're just sitting down having a chat yeah. and you say look this is where you're going wrong Okay. Do this, try this, try this, and then they work it out, and it, it, so things take time, and then uh, they realise, and it clicks in. But Tyson's coming into his own, he's maturing, like you said. Yeah. He's not a young kid anymore. Yeah. He's coming into the peak of his career, so uh, all good things to come. Um, boxers always say they never really are the finished article, but how close would you say Tyson is to get into that stage where he's ticking nearly every box now? I think his condition going into the last fight was about 50%, 60%. Because he obviously had viruses, yeah. and um, I think uh, with the camp and the troubles we've had and everything else, I think um, you're going to there's there's another at least 40 to 45 percent to add on his game that people haven't seen. Not to Tyson's fault, but one thing sort of labour him. Obviously, again, not Tyson's fault is inactivity, pullouts, injuries. Uh, bereavements obviously is yourself as well and your family. Um, is it a case of them now just staying active, getting those fights? Obviously we're talking about a fight in February, 
and then probably a fight in July. Is it a case of Tyson now starting to have maybe two, three, four fights a year? Yeah, sure. We're looking at three fights this year. We're definitely not going to look back on 014. Yeah. That's best buried. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know? yeah. so, so we're going to go forward, and um, it's like I just said in the previous interview. It's all down to Tyson. If he stays focused, he keeps his feet on the ground, he listens to instructions, stays hungry, he can go to great heights. And you know, I'm sure he will do. You know, he realizes what he can do. You know, and uh, it's it's good when you tell fighters exactly what's going to happen in fights, where they're going to be in 12, 18 months. Yeah. You know, they may have all the doubts in the world, but when you tell a fighter what's going to happen, you t you tell him his future, and all of a sudden it comes true. There's that self-belief behind it then as well, isn't there? Yeah. So, you know, he's going to get better and better all the time as time goes on. It's hard not to look past this fight in February, obviously for the big fight possibly in July, August of Vladimir. Realistically, how, do, you, do you think that fight's going to happen? Yeah, I do. I think if Vladimir doesn't lose, yeah. you know, and um, he keeps winning, then uh, we'll get that fight. I think Tyson could have a world title fight uh, maybe May, June, July okay. against the winner of Stavern, uh, Wilder. Wilder. Yeah. That's a possible fight which we're looking at. Yeah. Um, but we'll try to make that fight as well, mm. the winner of that. And um, we'll see how Stavern goes against Jennings. Jennings is a good fighter. He is. So, um, you know, there's no, nothing's cast in stone here. That's true. You know, there's a lot of other heavyweights out there. Yes. So, uh, we could end up facing off with anyone before Klitschko, so we have to wait and see. Another top heavyweight in your, your camp, Eddie Chambers. Yeah. Is it a case of 2015 almost letting him off the leash, uh, putting him up against maybe a top 10 or top 15 heavyweight himself, which I think he is, I think he is a top 15 heavyweight. Is it yeah. a case of maybe him fighting with someone on that, on that level? Of course, you know, I just mentioned some names earlier, you know, Ariola, there's Ariola out there, there's, uh, there's Houston off the likes of them. These are all fights we'd love to make for Eddie. Yeah. You know, we're, we're very interested, like you said, he needs a top 15 world opponent at yeah. least, mm -hmm. you know, in his next fight. So we're going to get Eddie back, I think he's due back uh, early January, he's, uh, and we're looking to put him in a big fight in March. Okay. Huey Fury, obviously bad 2014 for him, yeah. for realness. Um, How's he going? How's he getting on? We saw him um, at the weigh-in. He, he looked big and strong again. Is he, yeah. is he back to full fitness? He looks, uh, he, he looks good. He's just finishing off some final tests, yeah. like allergy tests and things like this. Mm. His blood has gone out to America. I think yeah. his blood has gone all over the world in the last 12 <laughs> months. Yeah. And uh, to find out what's wrong with him. But, um, you know, look, he's, a, he's a phenomenal talent. He is. You know, so all I want to do is get his body strength right, get him to full health. And away he goes. He's fighting Rudenko, which makes a statement in itself yeah. and where his talent is. Yeah. So um, looking forward to that fight. It's a good test for Yui. Yeah. I think if you had to look at that fight, it'd have to be 60-40 in Rudenko's favour. Yeah. Because he's had more knockouts than Yui's had fights. That's true. He's not over the hill. He's 31. Yeah. And, he, young, yeah. and he's lost. Brown, he's lost a very arguable decision mm. with Brown. Yeah. You know, that fight could have been either way. It depends That's how you fight. want to look at it. Mm. So it's a good fight for Yui. But Yui now, he's not going to fight any more Jay anymore. He's going to fight Rudenko. After Rudenko, God willing, he's going to fight people like Ustinov. Yeah. Maybe Ariolas and things like big this. Big names. So he's going to fight big names. Mm. And we'll see if he can do it. If he can, he can. And if he can't, he'll have to go to the back of Q and it's try 0-16. It's a good camp you've got, I guess. So he can well, fight. Yeah, it's a very good camp. So he's yeah. mixing on elite level sparring. Mm. He's got the best. You know, Kevin Johnson, you know, he's been in all Tyson's camps, sparred the same sparring partners. Yeah. You know, he sparred all these guys and he does more than well, but that's a spar, yeah, exactly. so we have to see what it's like. Okay, there you have it, Peter Fury, nice talking to us. Yeah, thank you for having me.